you're going to see an image of a lady's face. So our study was the first study to really look at this in a very large cohort Brad. of children. So we have over 230 children in this study. Paste. And what that allowed us to do was to actually look in slices of time. Dough. From six years of age all the way up to 18 Brad. years of age. And really look at the developmental trajectory of multisensory Born. speech integration processes. We studied children who were typically developing, who were matched to high-functioning children on the autism spectrum. So these are children who meet criteria for an autism diagnosis, but they have, within normal limits, intelligence. Some of them even have superlative intelligence. You ready? Yep. We played simple words under three circumstances. And the first circumstance was just auditory input. So they don't see a video, they just have a still image of a face. Coast. Fan. The second is where the face articulates, but there's no sound, and they have to lip, lip read, or what would they call speech reading. And the third is where we put the two together. Coast. Fan. Now a key piece I left out is that what we're doing all the, all the while is we're, we're introducing background noise. Coast. Fan. So we call this white noise or pink noise. And so, so these words, regardless of which of the three methodologies we're using, are buried in noise and various levels of noise. And of course, when multisensory integration is really useful is when there's tons of noise like the dinner table in a noisy household or the classroom. And what was clear very quickly was that the children on the autism spectrum were pretty good at the auditory alone. They were pretty bad at the speech reading, the lip reading, but so were the typically developing kids. They were worse, but, but everybody was bad at that. But when you put the two together, they didn't get nearly as much uh, benefit. They didn't get anywhere near as much benefit. Uh, and that was the case for the younger children. So from six to about 12 years of age, there was a really clear and severe deficit in the ability to integrate these multisensory uh, elements. And then something remarkable happens because at 13, 14, 15, on up into the late teen years, Straw. all the participants that we had who were on the autism spectrum showed normal or near normal Dorn. performance. So something very peculiar is occurring between the ages of 12 and 13 years of age, uh, I suppose exactly at the point where these children are entering puberty.